She became the youngest speaker at an annual aerospace cybersecurity conference at NASA's Kennedy Space Center this spring, and she has not even graduated high school yet. 18-year-old Angelina Savoy of LA County. She is a programmer, mechatronics engineer, and scientific researcher whose work spans astrophysics, artificial intelligence, and quantum mechanics. She's also a pilot, and she just started her own cybersecurity company. Angelina Savoy joins me now with more. I am beyond blown away by your brilliance. Uh, so it's a, really an honor to have you here tonight. Thanks for being here. Yeah, I really appreciate the opportunity. Thank you for chatting with me. Well, tell me, where does this, uh, where were you inspired to do all that you do? Yeah, I think it all began with computers. I became enthralled with computer science at the age of seven. I took my first computer science class then at my elementary school. And ever since then, I think I started like a small little maze game project at first, and it just became this overwhelming obsession of mine. From games, I moved on to app development and then website development, and then from there I got into the cybersecurity realm. I'm not even sure if this is the right way to ask the question, but you you speak how many different languages when it comes to coding? I'm, I think I'm fluent in about 20 programming languages, and I have proficiency in about 30. Uh, and we just saw a picture with you with Apple's CEO, Tim Cook. What was that about? Yeah, a few years ago, I submitted a few apps to Apple's annual Worldwide Developer Conference, which is an international competition they host every year for students all around the world to apply. And fortunately enough, I was invited to Apple's headquarters to meet the CEO himself, Tim Cook, to present some of my apps to him. So you speak of the apps that you've created. One has to do with CPR. You've created yes. dozens of apps, if I'm not mistaken, That's true. Uh, over your, 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 long, your young life. What are some that you're most proud of? Yeah, I would say a CPR Buddy would be one of them. Um, it's a Apple Watch application alongside a mobile application to teach the basics of CPR utilizing hap haptics. I would also say I'm very proud of some of my cybersecurity applications I've been working on recently in order to protect the cybersecurity infrastructure of satellites. <laughs> Yeah, I think everyone along watching this is just blown away, uh, just as I am. And you've actually brought something here that you created that you're going to be teaching younger kids. Yes, yeah. So I'm going to be taking a gap year next year from the best this. school in the universe, in my opinion, Caltech. And during that time off, I want to really teach kids more about STEM and get them excited about STEM because fortunately enough, I was raised in an environment where STEM was always at the forefront. It was always exciting, but a lot of kids aren't really given the same exposure. So this is a little device I created called the Meow Mixer. And it teaches kids the beginnings of electronics and soldering in a fun, interactive way. And kids as young as four years old are learning to make these kits. And they're really interactive and fun. You can like twist around the potentiometers to change the colors of it. And something as simple as this can inspire a lot of kids to get really in interested into electronics and STEM in general. And I really want to take that time off to inspire them. Un in underprivileged communities Especially. around the world, which is amazing. Yes. So she graduates high school this coming Saturday. Congratulations. Yes, wish me luck. <laughs> I, I, I don't think you need luck. I think your hard work speaks for itself. You. You've already been accepted to Caltech. You're taking this gap year, and you're going to use your time to work with kids to teach them about STEM in underprivileged communities. You're amazing. She's also a pilot. Uh, is this what, what do you do in your free time? Is this what it looks like? <laughs> Yeah, I would say a lot of my work is childish. Like, if I were still a child, I would still be doing a lot of things I do today. I feel like with the work I do, I try to find what really inspires me to apply my creativity alongside my skill set in order to improve the world around me. And I, frankly enough, I don't feel like it is work. It feels a lot like play to me. And I think it's a way for me to express my creativity in a way that's helpful for others. And that makes me really fulfilled and happy. What's your ultimate goal? Yeah, I would say... I want to develop engineering solutions at a wide scale in order to help humanity as much as possible and be a positive inf impetus for society as much as possible using programming and um, my skill set in cybersecurity for now. But uh, technology is always changing, and I think I'll be shifting my uh, scope as I progress toward for my career. You're an inspiration to young and old, no matter what. You are just something special. So, Angelina Saboy, thank you so much. We're going to be watching your career as it just takes off skyrockets. Sky's no limit for you. Thank you so much. Th I really appreciate it. Thanks for being here.